Steve here, Soggy Bottom Farm. Let me zoom back out a little bit. All right. What we got here is this little Honda generator. EU2000i. It's an inverter generator. Belongs to my dad. He bought a new carburetor for it. Then he followed some advice he got off the internet. Made a mistake and asked me to take a look at it. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to play around with this choke here and show you the symptoms. It's got two modes of operation. Eco throttle on and off. I'll go through both of those. And then I'll show you uh, what I did to recover this generator. Because that carburetor is $127. If you make this mistake, you don't want to buy another carburetor. So let's start it up. Turn the gas on. Right now it's not eco throttle. Oh, turn the choke on. Anyways, enough of that. But my dad tells me, he said, uh, you know, it runs better when I put the choke on. And the advice he got was uh, to open up the hole in the jet. That might work pretty good if your engine is using a mechanical kind of uh, governor. You know, the vane. But uh, this is an inverter. I'm pretty sure it needs voltage to give the uh, generator some output. It's not an actual generator using RPMs. It's monitoring the voltage. So now we got a situation where the jet hole is too big because he drilled it out. It's running too rich. And we're just making it run good, but it's still too rich. It's not right. Let's rip the jet out of this carburetor. I'm going to plug it back up and we'll re-drill it. I'll show you how to do that. Hang on, I'm going to move the camera. Man, you think I need to clean this thing off? Anyways, I got that carburetor disassembled. You didn't need to watch that. There's other people who show you that. If you made it this far, then you already know what's coming. But inside here is a little hole. My dad made that hole too big and we're running way, way too rich. This is the spark plug. See, it's really rich. See, rich. Anyways, we need to plug this hole back up. Let me set up what I'm going to use, set you up, and bring you right back. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is clean the hole in your jet. I happen to own the world's smallest file. So, use your drill bit, whatever you can. Clean the hole out. You don't want to clean nothing more than the hole. However you do it, clean it out. Let me set it up. We're going to solder that hole shut. You want to use this real small electronic solder. Not plumbing solder. This is already fluxed. 
but you don't want to put a great big old gob in here. You just want to fill that hole back up. Just the hole. Don't fill the whole thing up. Like that. See that? We filled that thing up with solder. Now we can take the correct drill bit or smaller drill bit, run it through there again. Hopefully you don't break it. Or you could, like I will, take your tiny drill bit, a piece of wire, whatever you have. You got to go back to a smaller hole. So you could heat it back up, run your tool in it, Remove the soldering iron and remove the tool and hopefully you'll have a hole in there when you're done. If you ever make a mistake, you drilled your hole too big, your carburetor costs too much, go ahead and give this a shot. I'm sure it'll work for you. It does for me. Alright, I'm going to put it back together. I might uh, show you it running. I will. and uh, I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you check out some more of my videos and come back. All right, hang in there. Can you see it? There's a little bitty tiny hole in it. Now it's going to run too lean when you choke it. Just make that thing a little bigger. Give it a try. If you still have to choke it, take it back out. Make it a little bit bigger than you did. And keep working your way up until this thing is running within a, an adjustable range. Save yourself the money. All right, hang on. What do you say we give that a try? Opened her up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Hey, if you stuck around, let's see what we did here. Turn that back on. Give her a little choke. Gotta wait for the bowl to fill up. Let's put it on regular run. First start after opening the hole up. Come on. It's definitely running a lot better. It's uh, probably got a few more issues, but uh, you know, that ain't the point of the video. If you ever make a mistake where you get a hold of an engine where somebody's drilled out the uh, jet and just too big, running rich, you know, you can verify that by loosening the carburetor bolts and letting it suck some air in there so you can get the air fuel mixture going again. You can determine if it's, uh, you know, lean or uh rich you know look at the spark plug be careful if you want to drill out your thing but if you do it hey here's a good way to fix it all right steve out come again